Hello everyone, today I'm playing Marvel United. This time I'm going to be playing a two-player game with a hard challenge. Each player removes the double wild card from their hero deck. Shuffle up the location tiles. We're going to have Times Square, Stark Labs, New York Police Headquarters, Central Park, Avengers Tower, and Shield Headquarters. Place those out. We'll be playing Captain America and Black Widow. Move the double wild cards from the hero decks. Place the threat cards for the Taskmaster. We have Elite Thugs, an Explosive Trap, Entangling Trap, another Explosive Trap, Elite Thugs, and finally again another Entangling Trap. Shuffle Taskmaster's deck. He has two life. Because we're only playing with two heroes, starts on the fifth location. Taskmaster will try to overwhelm the heroes by placing crisis tokens at all the locations. He cannot be attacked until after all the crisis tokens have been removed. And the crisis tokens can't be removed until the civilians and thug tokens have been taken off with heroic or attack actions. I got an entangling trap, so it's going to cost me two move to leave that location. Taskmaster pulls dark schemes. If there are no heroes in Taskmaster's location, place one crisis token there. So he placed the crisis token at shield headquarters. I'm going to start by trying to get rid of that um, threat card there so that I can move without having to spend two movement to do it. I am playing this solo even though I'm playing a two player variant. I'm just playing each hero individually. We have the two heroic actions from Captain America and a move action and an attack action from Black Widow. That will remove that crisis, opening up that location effect, which is, end of the turn, I may discard one thug from any location if I choose to, if I stay there. I move Black Widow up to Stark Labs, and I use my other heroic action there. An attack action to take out the thug. Captain America. Now he can use Black Widow's card of movement and attack and two heroic actions from his card. Take out the thug after moving. And we use those two heroic actions to take out that threat card, which opens up, end of turn, you may swap one card for your hand with one of your cards in the storyline. That's a location effect for Stark Labs. I choose to swap out a move card for that double heroic action. I put that back in Captain America's hand. Taskmaster's turn. He's going to use Copycat, which is I add a civilian to Taskmaster's location for each heroic action at the bottom of the last two hero cards in the storyline. So luckily I played that heroic action from Captain America and I picked the other one up in order for that not to go off. Or he would have been placing more civilians at his location. You move over and start working on that Elite Thugs threat card by using a couple of heroic actions. 
from Black Widow. Now I'm back to Captain America. I'm going to give leadership. I'm going to give a wild token to another player, which would be Black Widow. Use my move action. Pretty much fall right behind with Black Widow and remove that threat card. I now have three threat tokens on my mission card. Uh, the location effect for Times Square is at the end of the turn you may rescue one civilian from this location, which I do with the one heroic action, and then I rescue another one by using that location effect. Black Widow's turn. She'll have two move and one heroic action. She'll move over to Shield Headquarters and use one of those heroic actions to to take off or work on that threat card, which is Entangling Trap. And I'll use Captain America's leadership token he gave me, which was wild, for the other heroic effect. Taskmaster's Dark Schemes. If there are no heroes in Taskmaster's location, place one crisis token there. Black Widow is at that location, blocking him from doing that. We're back to Captain America. He's going to have leadership again. He'll take a wild token and he'll give it to Black Widow. He has a move, a heroic action, and an attack action. We'll finish that threat card, Tangling Trap. By finishing that mission card, the villain acts after every two hero cards now. I'll use that one attack to take out that thug. It should have gone on my mission card instead of in the discard. Shield Headquarters. Location effect is you may discard one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck to remove one crisis token from anywhere, which is what I did with Captain America. Black Widow will move, use a move action and an attack action. Move her back to Times Square. Use my attack action to take out that thug there. At this time, Taskmaster will start playing a card after every two hero turns. It's going to move three and place civilians. Moving from left to right and from behind to his location to the location ahead of him. That's how you would place those. a move to work with. I'm going to use Captain America's move and attack card. I have two move. Takes me down to Central Park. I'll attack a thug there. Back to Black Widow. I'm going to use Black Widow's interrogate card, which is to look at the top card of the master plan deck. You may place it on the bottom if you choose. Move her to Stark Labs. Use the interrogate to look at what Taskmaster's next card is going to be. He's going to move one. He's going to bam. And he'll put down civilians. That bam will hit Captain America. Because of that, I'm going to place it at the bottom of the deck. Stark Labs location effect is you may swap one card from your hand with one of your cards of the storyline, which I'm going to do. Swap that single attack for the double heroic action. Use that wild to move her and use an attack to take out a thug. New York uh, Police Headquarters location effect is you may discard one thug from any location. There's no only one thug out on the board at this point. Taskmaster's turn, he moves two and he bams, which will drop a crisis token. His bam effect is deal one damage to each hero in Taskmaster's location and add one crisis token there. He's going to put civilians on each location. 
following in a clockwise order. I have one out tack out on the board. I'm going to use Captain America's double heroic action. I'm going to cover up that uh, explosive trap there, the threat. Attack that one thug. Black Widow pulls a single wild. We'll use that. She's going to move and finish off the threat on that explosive trap. That would have made each civilian in this location requires one extra heroic action to be rescued. Central Park's location effect. You may move up to two civilians or thugs in any combination from this location to any other locations, which is what I do. I take two of them, I move them up to Times Square. Trying to spread out those civilians and thugs a little bit. Taskmaster's turn. He's going to move two. He'll bam, and he lays down a thug. There's no hero there. It gets attacked, but he does leave a crisis token. Places a thug in clockwise order on the tiles. The reason I moved those two civilians up to Times Square was because of the location effect. At the end of the turn, you may rescue one civilian from this location. I thought it would be easier to take those off. Captain America would be using a leadership. Gives a wild token to Black Widow. He has a wild, and he also has a heroic action. which I'll use that to rescue a civilian. And you use Black Widow's interrogate again. Look at the top card of the Master Plan deck. You may place it on the bottom. Comes in handy to see what Taskmaster's plans are. Rescues another heroic action, and I can use a heroic action or an attack action to take that crisis off, which is what I do. He will be playing copycat the next turn. I don't think it's going to bother me, so I place it back on the top of his deck. Copycat. Add thugs to mas Taskmaster's location for each attack action at the bottom of the last two hero cards in the storyline. So I'll have to add one thug to where he's at. My locations have really been helping me in this game. Their location effects help benefit the storyline, help me get rid of some of the civilians, and move some of the other ones around, and also manipulate my storyline by switching out my cards. Here I just played an attack action and a wild action. The wild to move and the attack to take out that thug. Moving on to Black Widow, she'll use her move and heroic action along with Captain America's wild action. She'll move. Use that again for another movement and use her heroic action to take off one of those civilians. And again, that location effect is you may rescue one civilian from this location. Taskmaster is going to stay there and he's going to bam. He will hit Black Widow. So I have to discard one of my cards. I only have three cards left. Put that back at the bottom for a discard. He's going to leave a crisis token there. And that's his turn. Back to Captain America. I got a move and a heroic action. I'm going to play my double attack with that. Move capped up to Times Square. Use that double attack to take out both those thugs. That removes my second mission card. The villain is now vulnerable to damage. But with Taskmaster, I have to clear that cr those crisis tokens first before I can attack him. I can do that by using one heroic action or an attack action. I just chose to use a heroic action there. Follow it up with Black Widow's double attack. She'll remove the other heroic action. I'm sorry, the other crisis token. And she's going to hit Taskmaster for two and for three. At this point, I realized that I actually made the game a little bit harder for me because I gave Taskmaster four health instead of the two that he was supposed to game should have been over right there but anyways taskmaster moves on he moves one he's gonna bam at that location 
and leave a crisis token because there's no hero there. He's going to place a thug behind him at his location and then at the location ahead of him. Moving on, I only got a couple cards for each hero left. Captain America is going to move. Use an attack to take out one of those thugs. Use the other attack from Black Widow's card to take out the other thug. And then Stark Labs. Can, you may swap one card from your hand with one of your cards in the storyline. And I choose to hold on to Cap's double heroic. Instead I play Black Widow. She goes in, rescues both those civilians. That removes that. That would allow each hero immediately draw one card, but both my heroes only have one card left. She'll use the attack action to get rid of that crisis token. And she can use that end turn effect, which is you may swap one card from your hand with one of your cards in the storyline. I choose to swap that out with that move and attack. Prepping in case Taskmaster moves. Which he will. He broke moves five and he's going to place a thug and a civilian at all the different locations there. So I'm glad I swapped that card out and used, got the move and the attack. So I'm probably going to need it. So as you can see the location effects have really played a major part in this game. Use Captain America's last card which is two heroic actions. Captain America would be KO'd after this turn, but each hero is allowed to play their final card before being KO'd. I choose to use Black Widow's move and attack. She moves in, saves one of those civilians before knocking out Taskmaster and winning the game. Of course, I would have won a couple turns ago, but that's it. Thanks for watching.